I moved into my new house not too long ago. It's a nice little place in Hunslow Borough of London, the Hayes area to be precise. It's nice and cottagey, not too far away from a park, really the absolute perfect place. Two bedrooms, spacious bathroom, a huge kitchen, and a loft that should apparently never be used. I asked my landlady why I shouldn't be allowed to use the space up there. She's never around, so it can't be because she's got her own crap up there, but she didn't really give me a concrete answer. She said that her parents had died up there though, and she always was the superstitious type, so it made sense that she wouldn't want anyone up there, desecrating her parents' death space or whatever. To cut a long story short, she said that the loft was locked, and she'd gotten rid of the key by burying it at the top of the left pocket of her dad's suit. As in the suit he was wearing when they put him six feet underground. There wasn't any way that I could think to get up there if I wanted to, which, in complete honesty, I was pretty fine with. It wasn't as if the house wasn't lacking storage space, and it wasn't like I even had a lot to store, so everything should have been fine. Should have been. The noises started around a month after I moved in. The first time it happened was around midnight. I was awoken by scratching up in the loft. Now, like any normal, sensible person, I immediately assumed that maybe it was a rat that found its way into the house. Like I said earlier, the building pretty much looked like a cottage, and cottages tend to be pretty old, so maybe there was a hole inside and it got into the house. I didn't have the key to the loft, so there was no way I could check either. Fast forward five days, I walk into my room after coming home from work. Three knocks. Three knocks on the door to the loft. The thing rattled in its hinges. Three knocks, and then this sound. As you can imagine, I was shaken, to say the least. There's no way that this was some ordinary rat. No way at all. I went straight downstairs, bolted out of my room, and dialed the police. When I called them, they thought it was some kind of prank. Strange noises from a locked loft? Yeah, sounds like the beginning to every crappy horror B-movie there is. I was drawn back upstairs by more sounds. I don't know what made these sounds, and I don't want to know either. I left the house. Of course, who wouldn't? Let the woman keep the month's rent and all. I'm in a nice little apartment now. No lifts. Look, if you get offered a little two-bed in the Hayes area, don't take it. Not if the rent is only £1,250 a month. It's not worth the risk.